everybody. Welcome back to Daily Easy English Expression. Yeah, yesterday when I uploaded the video, I made a mistake. It said, come one. The dialogue should have said, come on. Thank you for telling me. I will be re-uploading that video. So you don't have to watch it again, but ah, I sometimes make mistakes. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> now, in this situation, when you see somebody really sad, really suffering, what do you do? You laugh at them. Ha 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 stupid. No, of course not. You try and make them feel better. You try and remove some of their misery, to take away some of their sadness, to extract some of their suffering, right? In this situation, remove, take away, extract, we can go the opposite and we can give solace to somebody. To give solace to somebody. Now, the spelling, it looks like solace, but no, the pronunciation, solace. To give solace to somebody. It's a great expression and the idea is you give something to somebody so that their misery, their sadness, their depression goes away. It's a very important thing to do when people are really sad, when they're suffering, when they're in pain. It could be emotion, emotional pain, it could be mental pain, it could be physical pain. Check out the dialogue. Are they taking those dogs into the hospital? Yeah, cats too. Why? It's so dirty. No, they give solace to the kids who've been there a long time. Ah, uh, yeah. Boy, I like to see that. You know, uh, they have many animals. In America, we do this. Uh, dogs and cats and other types of animals that do visit children and not just children, anybody in the hospital. Kids who are suffering from maybe cancer or uh, maybe they were in an accident. Well, we can imagine the types of suffering kids experience. But once again, not just kids, older people, grandmas and grandpas. It's amazing uh, when, when a, a, a cat or a dog or a puppy comes up to those people. Their suffering, their pain whew, melts away. It disappears and they feel joy. And the animals sense that too. And the animal's very happy. And then everybody's really happy and it's a really nice thing. Uh, I love animals. And uh, seeing animals in their natural state, whether if they're big animals, that makes me happy. And my cats, they give me solace too. My cats, I know, they're cats, they're, they're house cats, they live in the house, they have a really good life. And uh, I try to give them the best possible life and they do that for me too. Definitely, they give me solace when I'm feeling down when I'm feeling sad, when I'm feeling alone, when I'm feeling hurt. When I was really sick for a couple of weeks, my cat, not Cass, Cass is bleh, Minty. Minty would come up to me every day and ask me to feed her. Yeah, my cats are selfish. I'm going to exchange my cats. I'm going to exchange my cats for bears. That's a good idea. So I, I think you might agree, uh, cats and dogs, can they provide solace to people who are suffering? What else? Can you think of a situation when you gave solace to somebody? What did you do? What did you say? Did you give them something? Did you say something? Did you just be with that person? What did you do to give that person solace? How did you help them remove some of their suffering to reduce some of their misery. It's really important. If somebody is down, it's your chance, it's our chance to give that person solace. So let's do it. Let's check out this dialogue three more times and then I have some really important thank yous. 
Are they taking those dogs into the hospital? Yeah. Cats, too. Why? It's so dirty. No. They give solace to the kids who've been there a long time. Are they taking those dogs into the hospital? Yeah. Cats, too. Why? It's so dirty. No. They give solace to the kids who've been there a long time. Are they taking those dogs into the hospital? Yeah, cats too. Why? It's so dirty. No, they give solace to the kids who've been there a long time. You guys are helping me out and I need it. Without you guys, I couldn't be here. And uh, of course I want you to watch my videos and listen to my podcasts. I want you to join my DDM classes and my perf classes. But I understand, you know, uh, you're busy or you, the classes are too expensive or something, but still I need your support. And all it takes is $1 a month, $2 a month, whatever you want. And whenever somebody does this, I need to say thank you. So, first of all, I want to say thank you very much to Jose Firo Dantes. Jose is a DDM member and also he sponsors me. Thank you so much, Jose. Uh, to Wu Ji Yuan, thank you very much. Every every month, uh, Wu Ji Yuan uh, supports me. To great student, thank you very much for your support. It means so much. To Adriana Arguello, Adriana is a new perf and DDM student, and she's a massive patron. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, it, it's uh, it's very humbling, Adriana. Thank you very much. To Ni Dan, Ni Dan. Also, a new sponsor. Thank you very much. Nidan said, I listen to your podcast every day. I've listened for several months. It's really helping me to improve my English. I would like to sponsor you, uh, especially uh, for you. I registered at PayPal, and uh, I'm sending you this. So please keep going. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nidan. That means a lot to me. And I know uh, it's, sometimes it's, it's confusing, and it's not easy. Uh, to sign up on PayPal or to sign up on Patreon. So I'm giving you both places where people are donating and I do want to thank two more people. And how do I pronounce? Both of these names are really difficult. Okay. Uh, Yuseppe Sasu. Yuseppe Sasu uh, sent me a bunch of euros. Yes, you can change the currency. It doesn't matter. Thank you so much. Yuseppe says, I hope my pronunciation is okay. Giuseppe, I mean it's Giuseppe, Giuseppe, Giuseppe says, Dear Coach Shane, uh, no, and the name is different. This is Simone Semplice, I hope my pronunciation is okay, and I'm happy that the canned healthy air I sent you from Sardinia, the blue zone, one of the areas in the world where people live a really long time, I remember our conversation, on July 31st has helped you to recover. Uh, all the best. Thank you very much. So it's uh, so the name once again, Simone. Is it Simone or Simon? I'm thinking Simone. Thank you very very much for your generosity. Uh, and one more person uh, I want to thank. Okay. P R Z E M Y S L A W. Vzemislo, Vzemislo, I, uh, Suleki, Suleki, I'm sure I was horrible on the pronunciation of your name, I sincerely apologize, but I want to say thank you so much, thanks Shane for the daily podcasts, greetings from Poland, Cikunie, oh, what's the thank you in Polish, thank you very much, I sincerely appreciate this, uh, how do I pronounce your name? Please tell me. <laughs> now, um, I sincerely appreciate everybody's support. If you have a name that might be a little bit tricky to pronounce, please help me and leave a message. By the way, you can pronounce my name like this. That would help me so much because I think a person's name is very important uh, to show respect and to show appreciation. And I feel terrible when I mispronounce names. So, uh, to all of you, 
thank you so much. To everybody, thank you very much. Your support means everything, and it allows me to be here, and I need it, and I thank you. That's it. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.